Hey, good morning everyone. This is Shakai. Uh, I'm just out on a bike ride here this morning, Saturday, beautiful morning. And uh, I just want to share a quick story with you. I ran into this gentleman. He's a brown gentleman just like myself. And uh, he was on one of these, um, it's not a wheelchair, it's one of those motorized vehicles, you know. Um, um, you know, some people use them, um, especially if they have like a broken leg or um, they just can't really walk that far of a, of a distance. So anyways, he was on one of these and we struck up a conversation. He seemed like really, really friendly. There's just some people that like that, that are, they're just so friendly, right? And so we were just talking and, and actually I was just getting ready to leave. And I just felt, you know, I, I, as, on, on the inside of myself, I kind of struggling. Should I really ask him this question? Because, you know, I just met this guy, right? Because uh, on my mind, I'm always thinking about Barley Max, Barley Max, Barley Max, and how this can help people. And uh, I just looked at him and I said, I, I said to him, you know what? I'm about to leave, but I, I just got to ask, do you have diabetes? And he said, yes, of course I have diabetes. Yes, I do have diabetes. I have high blood pressure. I have high blood sugar. I have high, you know, high cholesterol. And those are the first top three things on the list of the things that Barley Max helps to lower drastically. And so I began to tell him a little bit about Barley Max and I gave him a few testimonies of people who've had diabetes and uh, that are taking the Barley Max and how it's been helping them. And um, he, you know, just began to share with me that, you know, that he's good. Um, he's taking pills right now. He's taking all these different things right now from his doctor. And pretty much he doesn't want to change, you know. Uh, he, he, he doesn't want to move from where he's at right now. He's comfortable with where he's at right now. He's 78 years old right now. He's comfortable with where he's at. And it just kind of really struck me that, you know, as much as I want to help people, there's just, there's just some people that they will not move from where they're at. They don't want to get any better than uh, where than, than what they are. Um, you know, they won't, they won't even look at any options or any ideas that can potentially move them from the place that they're in right now to the next level. Even if they've heard the testimonies and know the people that have been going through these things and, and see the results that they have, for some reason there's this stuff in their mind, thoughts and whatnot, that just keeps them there. And I just thought I'd have to share that with some people. You know, I, I, I mean, I had to just put up a video on this. I just, it, just, it was just really, really, really sad because I said to him, you know what? you can get out of that motorized contraption that you're in your life can get better you know I'm, I'm said I said to him I'm giving you hope you don't have to stay here you know if you want if you want to move from where you're in you can begin to move from there you know um, it was just so sad and I just thought I just gotta just drop a little line on that and just let you guys know what's going on but anyways my name is Shaka you know who I am certified health minister and what I'm here for is to help people to enhance the quality of their lives. I can try. I can give it out there. But, you know, it's like, it's like what they always say. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. All right. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.